peanut butter trying to get you guys to see that you can make a peanut butter banana pretzel menorah. So all you need to do is take your banana and what I did is I cut it in half so that it's flat on one side, but then I kind of messed it up and I realized that I had to chop it up a little bit and it just doesn't matter. All you need to do is make sure you have <clears throat> eight pretzel sticks that are about the same height. Uh-oh, it looks like I actually have two shamashes here. I'm gonna have to cut this one down. Mmm, that was good. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> so, eight pretzel sticks that are roughly the same height. And one shamash. That's my shamash, right? Does it kind of look like that? I think it does. Wait, hold on. I gotta cut this one down too. All right, even better. Uh-oh. Now this one doesn't stick in there. Well, anyway, what I'm trying to get at, guys, is you too can make your own DIY edible menorah using just what you have in your pantry. I just chose pretzel sticks, peanut butter, and I actually ate a lot of the jar. Shh, don't tell anyone. And banana. But try and think of anything that you can stick pretzel sticks into. And you can also put icing on the top, raisins, craisins. Just anything that represents a flame. And here, I decided to show you what it would look like. Oops, illuminated up for four nights. Anyway, you can have fun creating your own edible menorah. Don't forget, Hanwha starts December 10th. And whether or not you want to make your own edible menorah, oops, we don't care. We just hope you'll take a video of yourself lighting a menorah, edible or not, and post it here on the CBH Facebook group. And don't forget that you can rededicate yourself this year to do what you want to do and post it here. Happy Hanukkah!